بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم Activity 3.2 Part B uh, This is the circuit that a uh, logic circuit that we are going to solve and then later on we will produce its truth, truth table Okay, ji, uh, The name of this gate is this is not gate this one is and gate This one is or gate and here it is it's not gate again and nor gate input a will give us it will invert this one not gate will invert what uh, whatever comes uh, on its input and here is it's also going over here it's linked with this gate as well here we will get a bar inverter b so these are the intermediate values this one this is intermediate value of this gate not uh, not gate and this is the intermediate value of this not gate and it is a combination of a bar and d d will produce from this or gate and it will go over here and even over here as well and finally we will get the output x so these these are called intermediate values c will enter over here in this uh, not gate and finally we will get c bar and it will it will become the input of the next nor gate okay let's see uh, how to produce the truth table and its intermediate values so first of all we need to figure out how many possible combination we can make with with this circuit with the help of this logic circuit okay first of all we need to figure out how many inputs we are having over here we can see clearly see that a and b these are two inputs then we need to put it in this formula 2 power n n is what it's a possible number of inputs how many inputs over here two inputs we will enter over here a and b when we will type 2 over here 2 powers 2 will give us 4 it means that we can make four possible combination over here and then we will produce the intermediate values the intermediate values are these one we will invert this a and we will get a naught and then when we will invert the output of this and gate we will get c bar okay let's see okay here we need to produce the truth table Okay, let's take start from this side and right side of the inputs and let's uh, create a truth table and intermediate values. So here we will need to start from 0, 0, 1 and 0, 1 because we are having only how many possible combination, 4 combination. We, have, we figure out from this formula okay now 2 times 0 and 2 times 1 that's it okay now first we need to produce uh, the intermediate value of this gate not gate then we have to get what a bar so here we will type a okay let's produce a bar we need to invert this gate this a and we will get a bar here is a 0 we will get 1 0 1 and here is 1 so this gate will invert this and we will get 0 and 0 done this one done now next step. next we need to produce 
but we need to add these two inputs a and b and then we will get d so here i'm going to produce d i will just type over here d now let's produce a d is a combination of what it is a combination of a plus b and then we will get what a bar sorry d let me remove this from here and let me write it over here it's what a plus b okay now it's better okay by adding a plus b we will get d okay now let's add 0 plus 0 plus 0 will get 0 0 plus 1 will get 1 and 1 plus 0 will get 1 and 1 plus 1 done or get done okay next is we uh, we get this d now a bar we are having a bar we are having this d so let's produce the output of this and gate okay and gate is what it's a multiplication its functionality is it will multiply whatever uh, comes on its input so uh, right now we are having a bar and d d is what the output of this or gate so let's produce c let's produce c and it is a combination of a bar okay the output of c is the combination of a bar and this d dot we say d a bar is over here okay now let's multiply a bar here is the a bar so one one multiply d okay g where were we okay we were multiplying the input of this and gate a bar dot d and then we will get c so let's multiply this is called this a dot b is called what it's called boolean algebra okay so let's start let's start multiplying okay zero multiply with any digit will give you zero so one multiply zero will give you zero okay one into one will give you one over here and zero multiply one will give you again zero and here zero done we finally we got the uh, output of this and gate c now we need to invert this c again because here is a what in front of this um, AND gate we are having here NOT gate so let's quickly invert this then we will get C bar let me put bar over here okay so let's produce C bar so we are having C over here we can easily get C bar so 0 into 1 okay and 1 will become 0 because it's inverted this is the functionality of this uh, not gate if we will give one over here it will give us zero if we put uh, zero over here as input we will get one so here zero we will get one and one done okay we we have finally got the c bar now we are having d we are having uh, this c bar so let's produce the x nor gate x or sorry uh, nor gate so nor gate is what it is the invert of or gate then finally we will get output over here how to produce this one how to produce this final output x we need to multiply uh, we need to add c bar plus d and then we will take what its inverter this bubble shows it's a not gate so first of all we need to add them and then we will get the bar okay uh, it's what c bar c plus b okay here we have uh, we are having c bar c 
सी बार प्लस डी होल बार देन वी विल गेट वट द फाइनल आउटपुट ऑफ दिस एक्स सो लेट्स डू इट ओके नाउ हियर वी आर गोइंग टू गेट अवर फाइनल आउटपुट सो लेट्स डू इट दिस इज सी बार इज वन एंड डी इज ओवर हियर ओके द आउटपुट ऑफ आर गेट इज वट जीरो प्लस वन इट विल गिव अस वन बट इन नॉर गेट वी विल गेट जीरो द सेम केस जीरो प्लस वन विल गिव अस वन बट नॉर गेट विल इन्वर्ट इट जीरो अगेन वन इन टू वन विल गिव अस वट वन बट वी विल गेट हेयर zero because output of r gate is 1 and uh, when we will uh, one will pass through this not gate this bubble it will become zero and here 1 plus 1 will gives us zero this is the output of what nor gate that's how you can produce the truth table of this logic circuit okay thank you very much If you are new to my channel please Papa like and subscribe my channel thank you very much Allah face